Tonight, friends of a man killed in a strip mall parking lot are praying for justice. This happened on West Waters Avenue, east of Dale Mabry Highway, is just outside the city limits. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski has more now from the scene. Surveillance video could be a key piece of evidence in this investigation. One business owner telling me her camera captured the whole thing. She viewed the video and it showed a group of people standing around and then the victim being hit by a car. That's what she says. HCSO is still being pretty vague about exactly how this man died. And while authorities are not yet releasing the man's name, his friends tell us it's Jose Anthony Quiones. Just feet from where he was killed, dozens of his friends gathered and released balloons. They brought cards, wrote well wishes, and lit candles. It's been a tough day. There's so much I could say about him. He's the best, great guy. Biggest teddy bear you could have next to you. Oh, my heart shattered, like, into a million pieces, especially when you're at work trying to keep it together, and I was like, I couldn't. Like, I didn't want to believe it until I got here. Initially, deputies were calling this a death investigation, but labeled it homicide Saturday afternoon. The incident happened before 6 in the morning for hours. Crime scene technicians and detectives mapped out the scene and gathered evidence. The racetrack gas station across waters also draped in crime scene tape. But what led to this murder? Was it a fight? Was it something else? If anyone knows the answers to those questions, they aren't saying. Those who knew Jose are now praying for justice. I spoke, spoke to his mom and I told her I'm going to fight with everything I have to whoever did it comes to justice. The victim's friends tell me that his family lives out of state. Actually, in New York, family members now on their way back here to Florida. In Hillsborough County, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.